What a day. Actually, what a past couple of days. It's been... Uh, my son is sick. If you're wondering why I look like such a mess. Oh. So yesterday, I was in the middle of uh, filming, or doing some filming, trying to do some kind of a, a video for the channel, when suddenly I was contacted by my son's school and told that uh, he was sick and that I should come get him. So I, uh, I rushed to the school and I got him and he, uh, he didn't have a fever or anything, but uh, that was a false hope. <laughs> I brought him home and, uh, well, you know, things got worse from there. And he told me this, uh, this interesting story about how the teacher had them go outside without coats on. Now keep in mind, even at the time when I had gone to pick him up from the school, the temperature was still in the 40s. And I, uh, I'm not saying that this is how he got sick, but you know, he gets sick and they, uh, they go out in cold temperatures without a coat on. I, I don't know. The, the teacher's a nice lady, so I won't, uh, yeah. Anyway, what, what a time it's been. So anyway, this progresses, you know, it gets, uh, late. He's got a low fever and we go to sleep the next day. Worse, worse today. That's today. The next day. Tells you the, the state of things and the how I'm I'm doing here. Anyway, I uh, I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're gonna call the doctor. So I call the doctor, I'm like, hey, he's got a temperature of 101.8. Uh should I bring him in? Of course the answer from the doctor is always that yeah, you should bring him in. Because, well, you know, they get they make money from that sort of thing. I'm not saying that the doctor's a really nice guy. Boy, here I am criticizing people that help us out, right? Uh, so anyway, we go to the doctor, drive all the way down there. My son's a pediatrician doctor, or whatever, is not in the city. It's in another little city that's nearby. Drive all the way down there, and they do their tests, you know. They're like testing for COVID, and the flu, and colds, and strep, and all of that, because he's been saying he has a sore throat. None of that, just some whatever virus. So all this worry, and it's just like, well, give him, you know, Motrin, kids Motrin, or kids Tylenol, and uh, here's an excuse for school. So, yeah, that's a relief. I was really concerned that it could be, like, strep throat or something like that. But even for whatever virus, boy, he's been pretty miserable. And so have I. Boy, what a mess. I'm, I'm not showing you guys how the house looks right now. I, like I said, I was in the middle of trying to film and do all this stuff, and I haven't been able to do anything over the last little bit. Uh, so the house is a mess, just as much of a mess as I am. It's really put a wrench in the works of uh, the plans that I had. This weekend is a big deal. I mean, Chinese New Year, Spring Festival. I've had uh, the relatives, you know, they're on the phone all night and all day, you know, sending money back and forth, playing the, the little games that they play. So they've got this game that they play um, that they have invented using WeChat. The uh, You know, it's kind of like WhatsApp or if you're on Facebook Messenger, I think. I don't use WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, but I am familiar with WeChat because, you know, I lived in China for so long. They send an envelope, a little red envelope of money. Um, I don't think they have that probably on WhatsApp. Anyway, you have the group. You send an envelope and it's randomized, so when someone clicks on it, like, they get a certain amount of whatever was sent. The person that gets the smallest amount is the loser, and therefore they have to send the next packet. And, you know, you play the game to see how much money you can collect uh, around New Year. It's kind of a fun little thing of sort of quasi-gambling, I guess. I don't know. It's like playing the slot machine with your, your relatives. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's kind of fun. Anyway, they've been back and forth doing that. I haven't been able to play. So I haven't gotten anything. And I had all these ideas, you know, it's just my son and I here right now. And I'm thinking like, we'll have our feast, our little feast of, you know, like I'll, I'll cook American food, I guess this time, because I wasn't able to go to the Chinese market and get supplies like I wanted to. But it seems that that is out of the question now. My son is already asleep, not feeling well. He doesn't want to eat steak and all of that. So, yeah. My uh, my New Year plans have been foiled, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. Maybe I can. No, I'm not gonna make steak for myself. What a, what a terrible, miserable New Year Eve that would be. Chinese New Year Eve. The other New Year Eve is long gone. Eat a meal by myself. Anyway, that's where I've been.
That's where we've been. That's what's happened the last few days. I guess uh, I'll end it with that. We'll see you guys in the next one. Happy New Year. Shinyan Kwaila and all of that stuff. We'll see you guys in the next one.